Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com. Now are you sick of uh, how some of these tiles look on Windows 8? Why don't we change them up? I'll show you how. So here we are with uh, Windows 8 on my tablet. And you see a lot of nice live tiles. You got information showing, you got pictures changing. They look pretty nice. But let's uh, scroll over here and now we're going to see some of the old programs and they just have normal program icons that look like something from uh, you know the 20th century and um, I don't really like them so uh, we're gonna change some of them we're gonna make some new ones now back in the desktop I've opened Photoshop here and I've already uh, redesigned some of the Adobe Creative Suite icons you can see those here and I did it in Photoshop so there's all my my layers and what you need to do you have to make them 120 by 120 pixels. So here's one that I cropped out. Uh, this is for Adobe Illustrator. And I'll show you that it is 120 by 120. That's going to be the size of the tile. And then you also want to save one that is 30 by 30 for the smaller size. And so that's going to make a smaller one. So we need two of those. And over here is my folder full of all of my new tiles that I want to use. Okay, and now the next part, this is a little program called Obli Tile. Now be sure to check out the description of the video for the link to where you can download this. And I have it launched right here. And from here you can type in the tile name and you can hide the tile name. So if you do not hide it, it's going to have the uh, text written on the bottom of the tile. And then from here, you choose the program path. So let's find Illustrator. There we go. Uh, you can add attributes if you want. Now I'm going to choose the tile image. And there it is. And I'm going to choose the small tile image. That's the 30 by 30 one. And you can choose a background color. Uh, this accepts ping files, which can support transparency. Uh, I did not use transparency in this one, but you can choose a background tile color. And then I just hit create tile. Tile has been created. So now we go back to our start menu. And there's the new tile. I already made those three. But you can see uh, it looks a lot better than these old, old style icons. Now, of course, you can do pretty much anything you want. You could make like a whole mosaic of a larger picture and you can rearrange them like so. So that's a quick look at how to use Obli Tile to create uh, some more interesting Windows 8 tiles uh, for your program icons. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and that's it for now.